One of the great things about a really, really good steel drum note is an appropriate structure of partials in tune within that one note. And within a certain range of notes on the double second, you're going to want four, if not five, partials in tune, all the overtones being whole number multiples of the fundamentals frequency. Let's take a look at the left side of this professional double second built by Keith Moon and currently being tuned by me. We've got the D above middle C, this note right here. It's not perfectly lined up, but it's close enough for this demonstration. Let's see what we've got. We've got the fundamental, obviously. We have an octave above that, which is twice the fundamental's frequency. We've got an octave above that, which is four times the fundamental's frequency. We've got what Ellie and people trained by him tend to call the harmonic. It's a fifth above the octave in the case of this note. Da -da -da. That's three times the fundamental's frequency. And we've actually got an octave above that. That's at 6F. Now, on this note, we've really got something special. We also happen to have a narrow major third above the second octave. That's actually 5F. And on this note, we've really got something extra special. Uh, entirely by accident, we just happen to have 7F. And we also have an octave above the second octave, a third octave, at eight times the fundamental's frequency. And believe it or not, we actually also have a reasonably clear 9F. It's about a major second above the third octave. And you combine nine partials, let's count them, F, 2F, 3F, 4F, 5F, 6F, 7F, 8F, 9F. You combine nine partials with a note that's reasonably well shaped and has the proper tension and relaxation in all the different parts of it, and you get a note that is supremely sensitive and resonant all by itself, without any other Ds really in tune, and at the same time, it doesn't buckle too easily even when you play it inappropriately loud. Nine partials, and that is really, truly something special.